guys welcome to today's video so i've got something extra special for you guys today i want to share with you how i like to create extra volume in a side fringe so whether you're cutting it on your client or you're somebody at home trying to blow dry your fringe uh, this is the video for you i'm going to share with you guys the tools that i like to use the products i like to use and the techniques step by step so that you get the best result possible every single time so Let's not waste any more time. Let's get started with the video. Here we go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start off this technique using one of my favorite products to create lift. This is Paul Mitchell Neuro Lift. It's a volumizing foam. Uh, I use it all the time in the salon. I'm gonna use quite a bit of it. I'm gonna work it through the hair. My favorite thing about this product is you can't use too much of it. So I'm gonna work as much as possible into the hair, start at the roots, work it through the ends with my hands. And now I'm gonna go in with my Ergo paddle brush and I'm gonna use the brush vertically to detangle the hair, but also work the product through. The worst thing uh, you can do is just put the product in with your hands, not get it on all the hair, and then the product isn't effective or as effective as it could be. So I work that through. Now I'm gonna find the parting. So I brush the hair back, work it back, and then I push the hair forward a little bit, find out where that natural part is. And now we're gonna choose our round brush. Now, there's multiple sizes of round brushes out there. So those of you guys that are not stylists watching this video, I wanna kind of educate you that the bigger the round brush doesn't mean the more volume, right? It just means that it's gonna smooth and polish the hair better. Uh, it's gonna get, you're gonna be able to take bigger sections, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go with a medium round brush and I'm gonna take a section about as thick as that round brush. And I'm gonna work it towards myself. So um, those of you guys that again are not hairdressers that are watching this video, I wanted to coach you through how to style your bangs to get more volume. So what we're gonna do is blow dry everything in the opposite direction that you want it to go. So I'm gonna blow dry it over to me on the opposite side of the, the parting. So if you're wearing a left-hand side part, you're gonna blow dry it over to that left-hand side part. That's gonna give you maximum volume. Now, stylists out there, this is a cool technique, those of you guys that don't know it, uh, because you're over-directing the hair, so you're keeping it off base, right? And you're gonna create a ton of volume within this style. So I just blow dry everything over, and then that last bit that kind of curves away on the head, that one I'm gonna blow dry back off of the face. So I just blow dry that, work uh, over and over again. One of the key things I like to say to any of my clients that are behind the, the are sitting in my chair is that as I'm blow drying, I blow dry the hair till it's dry. And then I keep going a couple more passes until it gets smooth. So a lot of people give up too early and they end up with not as smooth of a result. Uh, and I also let it set and cool. So notice I kind of give myself a couple seconds, let the brush cool down. You can do the cool shot with the blow dryer if you want to. And now I'm gonna let everything out. I blow dry the rest of the hair. And now you'll see that volume pop in that fringe area. Nice, soft, and then you get that side swept bang feel to it. I finish it off with Paul Mitchell Neuro style finish, and here is our end result. So I hope you guys like this. Hope you got some tips from it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, like always, if you like the video, then make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more videos just like this coming your way. Thanks for watching.